What is good everybody and welcome back to the channel today we are taking a look at $1,500 worth of used sneakers. Now, this box right here is full of used sneakers, and this is technically called a beater box. Now, this is a website called Soul Supremacy, which they don't actually really sell these. This is not sponsored. I paid full price for this, full shipping. I paid everything. I reached out to them and said, I'd like to try one of your mystery boxes in a video, and they said, we don't do promotions, but if you want to purchase one at full price, you can, and we release them in limited quantities. It's kind of like a membership-based website. So this box is full of a bunch of hopefully hype shoes because it's a big box, but for $1,500, and they're used. I hope they're not too bad. Now, as you can tell, I'm wearing this. It looks like a pretty flex Gucci sweatshirt. So if you didn't watch my last video, I gave my dad full control of the no budget challenge at the Gucci store. Basically, he got to buy whatever he wanted for me. And this is one of the things he bought some cool stuff. So if you missed that video as well as yes, it is holiday hype. And what that means is it's the time of the year where I'm giving back for this specific video. I'm not going to be doing a giveaway because I have a huge giveaway coming up for the next video. So if you did miss the last few ones, we have a $100 Gucci gift card giveaway. We've got Christmas gifts giveaway where it's all designer Christmas gifts. And we have one other giveaway. I will link all three at the top of the description if you want to go enter those giveaways. And it is getting closer and closer to the holidays. It's almost Christmas time. So we need to get a little bit more in the mood. Let's go. Did that do anything? Maybe, kind of. Yep, you can see a little bit of the lights going on there. It's a little bit more festive. Without further ado, let's uh, bring this table over here, get into this box. And apparently, I don't know if these shoes are just lightly used or I've heard that they're like used to the point where they're beaters to where you can clean them and fix them. And then they'll be, and then you can resell them and make, I don't know. I I'm worried because I'm not a big cleaner and fixer and person who can do restorations on shoes. So <laughs> we're gonna have to see. This goes over here. Also, if you're new here or you watch these videos and don't subscribe, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications just so you don't miss any of the uploads that I come out with. Let's take my address off. <sighs> okay, so this box has been done by a few other YouTubers. Untied Hawaii is the main one that I've seen do this. He does a lot of mystery boxes and he's one of the first people I think I ever saw do a beater box. With the size of this box, I hope that that means that there's like actual shoe boxes in here. I think I gave him my size, but I don't know if they're gonna be a variety of sizes. I'm gonna stop talking. Oh, I've been sitting on this box for a few weeks now. There it is. I see the first piece right there. Gold top. This is freaking massive. <laughs> what in the world is this? Okay, I've seen this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Hold on. All right, I'm at the bottom of this. Obviously, this is a Jordan shoe. I think I've seen this because I know that this is like play markings. This has to be two shoes. I don't know. Like, I, all right, let's see. Size 14 Jordan DMP pack. I think I've, I, I know what these are. Ah, yes, yes, yes. The Air Jordan Defining Moments pack celebrates Michael Jordan's final championship. Both the 13 and the 14 were born by the final championship series where he commented his legacy as the greatest of all time. This looks like a used pair of the DMP pack in a size 14. Yep, exactly. So these are not badly worn. You can see right there, this can be cleaned up on the bottom. This looks like they've been worn maybe two times, three times. It's not bad at all. Not really any creasing on the toe. Here are the 14s. These are crazy gold black. These are definitely not uh, my shoes. Look like they have some, uh, some like bird poop or dog poop on the bottom or something. Hey, they're a beater box. But these are not bad at all. Something on the bottom said 14 until we quit. This is definitely not my style of Jordan. That's why I don't own these. The 13s, they do not look good on me. The 14s, I don't think look good on me. And I just can't style them properly. So I have not been one to wear them and purchase them. I need to even look up how much these are going for. If I was to put a price on how much this is going for, I would say 400. Mm, retail is 500. You can buy a size 14 for 424 brand new. So they're not honestly going for too much. This is a size 14. So if there's anybody on the channel who has a bigger foot and wants this for a pretty decent steal, I'm going to be putting this specific on my website. If there's other shoes in here that are my size, I'll probably keep. But these ones specifically size 14, there's no way I can keep those. Even if they were my size, it's not particularly a, a shoe that I would always wear. So let's see what, how are we going to keep this going? I see a Yeezy box in here, a size 10 Yeezy box. I don't know which one is Yeezy 500. This is the blush colorway. These ones, okay, I think these were going for like, I don't know. Wow, these are pretty beat. Check that. Somebody definitely wore the, the life out of these. It's not too bad. Size 10. <sighs> They don't smell bad or anything. I don't know why I'm smelling them. This is kind of not my thing. You guys know how I am with shoes. I don't like touching the bottom of them. The size 10 blush. These are going for like 230 brand new. So if I were to guess the value, I'd probably say these are worth 160 bucks. Another one that I can't wear because it's not my size. So these ones as well will be up on my website. Next, let's see what we got. Do you see some? I see something like red. What is this? This is a Jordan 1 bread. Okay. Jordan 1 bread. Size 11. This is my size. So I know what happened to these. I don't know if the other one's in there. I hope it is. So 
if you can see on here, there's like, um, it looks like it's kind of, there's like a overspray of like glitter or something. So what that is, when you put Prep Protect or sprays like that on leather like this, it does that to materials for some reason. Cause like the bottom of these are not that worn. I guess there's not a box, but size 11, this is my size. That's what happens when you put the Prep Protect spray. So I had that happen before and I messaged them and they said, you're not supposed to use it on leather and that's why that happened. So I don't know if they perfected that, but that is why it kind of looks like it's like iced over. Like look at the inside. It looks like it's kind of like iced over, but the breads are definitely a really, really nice shoe. I've had a pair. I got the pair for retail when they came out. I think, yeah, here's the other pair right here. Size 11, pretty, pretty decent. The toe got absolutely crushed on these. I might see if I can clean these up and keep these because they are my size and I think that's able to come off. I'll just have to see if I can, if I can do it. So I might have to update in this video. All right, so we're at three shoes so far. One size 11, one 14, one size 10. Yeezys, DMP pad, reds. Pretty good variety right there. You have a little bit of the hype beast there. You got a little bit of the classic Jordan ones. You got a nice legacy shoe right here. It says 1998 on there. Let's see what else we got. All right, so I feel another box right here. This is a or this is a Nike Air Trainer 1 mid size 11 retail 120. This box is like kind of like wet. That's kind of weird. What do we have here? These are what is what are these? Are these dead stock? PRM QS. I'm confused. Trainer 1. I guess these are new. They still have tags on them. This is must be an older shoe. That's the bottom of them right there. That looks pretty dead stock. It just looks a little yellowed maybe from over time. One on the front. They look like I've never seen these before. It looks like kind of like a money going on there. Let me I'm going to look these up. So I can't really find much on this shoe. The retail is 120. I just don't know what these are. They're Air One Trainers, but they're Air Trainer 1 Mid PRM QS. If you guys know any history on these, I'm just not familiar with this silhouette that much. I've seen it before, but this specific colorway, I've never, they're my size 11. Oh, so let's see what the value we got right now. The Breads brand new are selling for about five, four, $500, which is good. They went up without a box. If I could clean them up and get rid of that condition or whatever, the spray that's on there, I would say they'd be worth about 280, but in the current condition, I'd say they're worth about 200. This right here, the DMP pack, 300 bucks, 250, 250 to 300 bucks maybe on that. And then these 80 bucks, the retail is 120. I'd say 80 bucks maybe. Four pairs of shoes, five pairs of shoes because there's two in there. And the box is actually kind of light. So I don't know if there's much left. I feel one thing right here. I'm gonna try to guess what this is. This is very puffy. I'm gonna close my eyes and pull it out and see. This just feels super high top puffy. I don't know. Wait a second. This material felt before but this super high top. Wait, 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 wait. Wait a sec, hold on. The feet, oh. No way, dude. All right, so this, this is a Yeezy One Blink. This shoe is absolutely crazy. One of the first Kanye shoes that came out with Nike. You can see it says Yeezy on the tag. The last time I checked, these shoes were selling for thousands of dollars. These are used. They're, yes, there's another pair in here. Or the other shoe is in here. These are, these are not badly used at all. Hold up, hold, hold the phone. Size 10, hold up, hold up. I found a pair of laces in here. Not sure what those are from. Hold the phone. I paid 1500 for this box. A size 10, brand new. <laughs> A size 10, brand new on StockX is $4,900. This is legit of legit websites. This is not a fake website. This website has been around for a while, and I know that this is a legitimate website. I'm kind of I don't, that is the rarest shoe I think I've ever, ever gotten. I don't know if my value, like, am I trip, like, am I, am my value's off? Because I, that's $4,900 brand new. These are very lightly used. There's a little bit of creasing on the toe. Okay, so I'm looking on, like, Grail. They're going for about, okay, okay, okay. They're not going too crazy. A size nine and a half is at 1,200, pretty badly used. Ten and a half is at 2,000 with a box. Size nine without a box, 1,395. All right, I thought I was tripping. So this is about the same, $13.95 for size nine. I guess they're very hard to come by brand new. So that makes sense. So we have, let's say these are worth $1,200. Mm, let's say it's a thousand bucks. No box, anything. If I'm just gonna try to get rid of them, thousand bucks. Red one. So like I said, all those combined was about five, $600. And then plus that, we're looking at about, you know, $1,600, $1,700 at the lowest price that I would sell it at. So that's pretty solid. Look at all these shoes. I might try to see if I can clean these up real quick and see what those look like. These as well. Anybody is a size 10 looking for a Yeezy, blink let me know because
because I'm gonna let these go for a good price. I'm gonna hook one of you guys up. Let's see if we can clean these bad boys up. We have our box of sneakers. I think the main ones I'm gonna focus on are Easy 500s. I'm not gonna mess with the Easy Solars and then the breads. So I assume that they tried to get this off. So it looks like you can wipe it away when you do it, but then if you let it dry, it kind of comes back. So like you can see, it looks like it's gone, but I'm sure when this dries, it's gonna come back. Let's check out the beginning photo. Or that's before. Of course, I must have taken these like a concert or something. Before and after, it looks a little bit better, not too bad. It looks like I could, if I went at these for a few, like 10 more minutes, I think I could get it down pretty good, but for the most part, they're pretty dirty. So I was actually able to get kind of the stuff off. Now I don't know if this is different. This looks like glitter or something, but I got it for the most part off. I'm gonna put it on with this outfit. These are in pretty good condition. How's it look? Yeah, I definitely think I'm gonna keep these. I got rid of them for a while, but uh, I like these. Adding them to the collection. There is all the shoes. Let me know what you guys think down below. What do you think about this take on a used sneaker mystery box? Something different rather than just something brand new. And I've gotten sneaker mystery boxes before, but these are all used and kind of crazy. These are all like oh, some OG sneakers in here. You got some more of the newer style. Old Yeezys, newer Yeezys, the brand. These are cool. I've seen these before. I'm not going for too much price wise, but I'm gonna be listing these on my website if you guys want to buy any. Except the breads. I think I'm gonna keep the breads. The other shoes, none of them are my size. Size these, but I, I don't think I'd wear these. Want any of those? I'll put them on my website, hairsnevel.com. You can check that out down below. I think that's gonna wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have a crazy video coming next. Something including sneakers. It's gonna be crazy. Just wait for it. I'll see you guys next time. This is Harrison signing out.